This video demonstrates installation of the 885 fuel cell potentiostat for an 850 fuel cell test system. The steps are similar when installing the potentiostat for an 840, 855, or 890 test system. Follow these instructions to complete the installation process and get started. To install the 885 fuel cell potentiostat for an 850 fuel cell test system, start by removing the four chassis cover screws on the side of the 850. Fasten the 885 potentiostat to the side of the 850 using the four chassis cover screws. On the front of the 850, insert the potentiostat connector bar between the 850 positive bus bar and the upper 885 potentiostat bus bar. Tighten the connector bar bolts with a wrench. Connect the cell voltage sense cable from the 885 potentiostat to the voltage sense connector on the 850. Connect the cell voltage sense cable from the cell to the 885. Now connect the cell fixture load cables to the test system. Note the standard color convention, red for positive or cathode and black for negative terminal or anode. Connect the red cathode load cable to the positive bus bar terminal of the 885. Connect the black anode load cable to the negative bus bar terminal of the 850. Include the anode cable from the 885 as part of the anode load cable connection. Connect the power cable and USB cable to the 885. Connect the USB cable to the computer. Power on the 850 fuel cell test system and 885. The fuel cell software will automatically recognize that the 885 is installed as part of the test system. Start the fuel cell software. Select New, Experiment to insert a new experiment step. Experiments that use the 885 begin with PSTAT. There are four experiments that use the 885. Number one, PSTAT open circuit. Number two, PSTAT constant voltage. Number three, PSTAT sweep voltage. Number four, PSTAT scan or hold voltage. Experiments that do not begin with PSTAT in the title use the test system's electronic load and not the potentiostat. This completes the installation of the 885. Now we will look at some of the features of the 885 as well as how and when to use the 885. What information about a polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cell or PEM fuel cell can measurements with the 885 provide? The features of the 885 include three current ranges whole cell and half cell measurements, as well as constant voltage, voltage sweeping including cyclic voltammetry, and step stair experiments. Unique among test system providers is that the 885 is integrated with Scribner's fuel cell test systems. Its integration allows for fully automated, hands-free switching between the standard fuel cell testing mode with the electronic load and diagnostic testing with the potentiostat. No other fuel cell test system manufacturer offers this level of integration that provides for automated and hands-free switching between load and potentiostat operation. When combined with an auto multi-gas unit, the 885 can be used for fully automated, hands-free switching between normal fuel cell testing with hydrogen and air, and diagnostics measurement that require a potentiostat, such as in-situ hydrogen crossover by linear sweep voltammetry and electrochemical surface area and catalyst utilization by cyclic voltammetry. This PSTAT sweep voltage experiment shows the typical measurement parameters for hydrogen crossover by linear sweep voltammetry. The in situ hydrogen crossover experiment requires a simple voltage controlled linear sweep. The fuel cell cathode is fed nitrogen gas and is the working electrode. The fuel cell anode is exposed to hydrogen and the counter electrode as well as a pseudo reference electrode in this two electrode configuration. The fuel cell cathode is anodically polarized such that the transport limiting current is obtained. The transport limiting current corresponds to the flux of hydrogen molecules that permeate from the fuel cell anode through the fuel cell membrane to the fuel cell cathode. The scan begins at 0 volts versus open circuit voltage and ends at 0.8 volts versus the pseudo hydrogen reference electrode, which is also the fuel cell anode and counter electrode. A relatively slow scan rate of 1 millivolt per second is used to minimize double layer capacitive charging effects as well as hydrogen desorption. Select the appropriate potentiostat current range. 
the auto multigas is used for automated, hands-free switching between air to nitrogen on the cathode in preparation for the fuel crossover or electrochemical surface area measurement with a potentiostat. Some fuel cell durability protocols require a potentiostat, including catalyst support by carbon corrosion and catalyst degradation. These experiments can be done with an 885 and, when combined with an auto multi-gas unit, they can be executed fully automated and without the need for user intervention. Go to the Product Support tab on the 885 webpage at Scribner.com to download application notes on these and other experiments.